Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, his glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah HaKudash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel in these last days, the other apostles of Great Millstone, also known as GMS. Salutations to the Most High's men in the four corners of the earth that are pushing his word in sincerity and truth. And also, Shalom to the sisters that support and subscribe wholeheartedly to the message of deliverance and salvation of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is your brother, Yam Yana from GMS Mississippi, with an intrinsic topic going into why did the Most High establish laws? The scriptures talk about how Esau Edom had, has deemed himself the God of this earth. He has categorized himself on the same equilibrium as the creator of the heavens, the earth, all things above, all things, things beneath, and all things within, which is Yahweh, the Most High. Esau Edom thinks that he is the Most High on earth. Therefore, he has created his own laws, his own statutes, and his own commandments, in which at any particular moment in time, the breaking of those have repercussions. If you break the law of going over the speed limit, there is a repercussion for first time offenders, second time offenders, third time offenders. But there's a judgment and you go before a judge. If you were to slay a man, Esau Edom has a judgment and you will be presented before the judge to hear the verdict. With the Most High, the Most High set up and established his laws, his statutes, and his commandments in the which if they were to be trespassed against or broken, there was a reward which was a judgment to be pronounced upon you and if severe enough pronounced upon your whole household so why are judgments so important judgments are important because they keep you in check when you look at the laws of this land which are the laws of this man's system, this world, you know not to break certain laws so blatantly because you understand that you shall go before the judge. You understand that there is a recompense. You understand that Esau Edom will seek vengeance. He will seek wrath. He will seek judgment. He will seek a verdict, ultimately, to have you incarcerated for the longest term possible. But also, you understand that what comes along with not abiding by the laws of this earth, it can jeopardize your freedom. Now, the Heavenly Father set forth laws. When you read in the book of Deuteronomy, they call it the books of the prophets. When you read in the Old Testament, the book of Leviticus, the book of Deuteronomy, the Heavenly Father has outlined his laws, his statutes, his commandments in order for you to fear being punished by trespassing one of his mandates. And how do you know that? Because you fear Esau. You fear when blue lights get behind you and you know that you ran that red light, you know that you hit that car and did not stop. You know that you were going above the speed speed limit. You know that you were driving without insurance. So on and so forth, right? And then boom, you get caught. Then here you are, you have to pay a fine. Your record, uh, record has a blemish on it. And or if severe enough, you go to jail, right? The Heavenly Father has put forth his law to laws, statutes, commandments, and judgments in order for his people to act right. In order for his people to abide, abide in his ways that they may not be as these heathen Gentiles who are, are they're the true savages. No power, no God, no morals, no spirit. But the most I place his spirit inside of us as his people. He made us in his image. 
that's why he set us set us differently than all the nations on the face of the planet so as you fear Esau Edom's laws and his mandates you should ten times more fear the laws and the mandates of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai because the Heavenly Father the Heavenly Father has it set forth to keep sin evil out of the nation and us as a people when there's a cancer that begins to arrive when there's adultery that begins to be found out and possibly can spread is like a cancer and the Mosai set forth his laws in order to remedy that cancer from spreading so therefore there were judgments that were pronounced upon individuals that disobeyed the Heavenly Father in order for the nation to fear oh I don't want that to happen to me to see someone be being stoned to death as harsh as that judgment may be that judgment is just like <laughs> when you look at being penalized by Esau Edom's penal code and you don't want no parts of what you see going in the courtroom with somebody else and the Heavenly Father has his a, a, on a more spiritual level because the judgments that he pronounced, he has you go through bodily pain in, in some cases. A lot of the cases, you know, but to be put to death by stoning was a judgment that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah set forth that you would know to fear him. Because without any fear, there's disregard. And when there's disregard, there's a lack of respect and then where's a where there's a lack of respect you would never obey and that's why the Mosai has set forth the bishops and the, 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 the preachers and, and, and the prophets and the apostles to do what the scriptures state in the book of Matthew the 22nd chapter to go out onto the hedges onto the highways and the byways and to prophesy unto the Mosai's people to speak and teach unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's people to remind them just verbally, just vocally remind them and Abaratazah the spirit may move them and place them in remembrance, a spiritual remembrance. But the words were put in place to stir up those dead spirits, those dead bones, those dry bones. Because the, a great majority of our people are sitting in the dust of confusion, basking in the realm of, of, of oblivion because they're oblivious to everything that's going on around about them. You know, you have the tensions going on between these nations. Like even in today's time, 2023, ask yourself, why is Iran, the land of Israel, the Chinese, the U.S., this Brexit thing going on. If the world is so great and everybody is all, all dandy, why was there conflict at the China Sea? When a U.S. warship had a close encounter with a Chinese warship, how was that even a gesture that was supposed to kick off questions or oh, what they mean by this or the, the, the United States would not be bullied like whoa if the earth was at peace as everyone is forced to believe then there shouldn't have been any notion of that being a threat but that's why this government these governing bodies call you people sheep that's why they say to shut up and work hard and live to gain this American dream because you are asleep and the whole point of them placing the wool over your eyes is to ensure that you stay asleep so you can't allow 
the lies and the deception from Esau Edom, the Edomites, the crafty. You know, because Esau Edom is is his whole essence as the scriptures goes into is to, to kill and to steal and to destroy. And the Most High was going to recompense him according to his works. The same way that we were recompensed according to the works of our fathers. Right? At, at, as it is written, our fathers have sinned and are not, but we have borne their iniquity. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. You know, the Most High has a, a, a great judgment prepared for the wicked one. And that staff of judgment is in the Most High's hand. And as the scripture states, the Most High is going to give Esau a cup. And he's going to have to drink the dregs of the cup. And Esau Edom is going into hardcore bondage. I mean, hardcore, severe slavery. When you look at the transatlantic slave trade, when you look at the history of the, the slave boats and how they were transported, when you look at the gathering of them up and, and place them in chains, you look at buck breaking, you look at the raping of the, the, the men and the women, the women and the children and the young boys. None of that wickedness is going to be going on, but the, the, the bondage, the bondage that Esau Edom is, is, is going to be placed inside is going to be so spiritually strong. You're not going to be able to fathom it. The same way you can't fathom what the Most High has prepared for those that love him. Same way you can't fathom how the kingdom of Yahweh Shai is going to be. You're not going to be able to fathom that hardcore bondage that Esau, his wife, his son, his daughter are going to be made to serve. When you read in the book of Exodus, uh, when Joseph passed on, so like it, when, when the new king of Egypt arose, had the Israelites to serve with more rigor. So he placed more bondage upon them. He placed more hell upon them. You know? And that's how we're going to do Esau. You know, we're going to place more hell and more hell and more hell upon him. And he's going to remember the days of persecution and transgression that he committed against his brother Jacob. Right? Because when you read the book of Obadiah, Read the entire chapter, right, of Obadiah. Esau Edom has always kept a perpetual hatred, hatred against his brother Jacob. Even when Jacob was, was, was pleading with them, even when Jacob was desiring to be peaceful unto Esau Edom, to bring him gifts, to be kind, and brotherly unto him. You see what the North American Indians went, went through, being peaceable to Esau Edom. The Most High's will, we're able to get an edification out of, out of that. Until next time, I say Shalom.